Are you notice sloping or cracking in your concrete and you're not sure how to fix the issue? If so, you came to the right place. Hi, I'm Nolan, the sales director of AccuLevel. My family's been in the foundation repair business for over 20 years, so I've seen my fair share of foundation issues. In this video, I'll talk about what deep injection is, how deep injection works, the pros and cons to deep injection, as well as when deep injection might not be the best option for you. So what is deep injection? Deep injection is used on polyurethane foam to run down into the ground from anywhere from five feet to up to 35, 40 feet. As you pump in this foam material, you're removing the rod and you're creating a pillar-like structure with foam. When you're doing this, this foam actually expands and compresses the soil around it, as well as builds this pillar. So as you're pulling that rod up, it gradually makes that foam pillar higher and higher to where you have a solid base to lift either the structure, the sidewalk, the driveway off of. So what are the pros and cons to deep injection? The con to deep injection is really the cost. This is a more expensive option than say mud jacking or injecting limestone um, material up underneath a slab or a structure. But the big pros to this is that you're able to get this compound, this foam, much, much deeper into the ground, therefore improving the soil that's already used while utilizing that soil. The other advantage to a deep injection is versus like maybe a helical pier. With a helical pier, you have to excavate holes to screw the pier down. You have to expose the foundation. So there's much more damage to the exterior of a structure. With your deep injection, you're simply just running small rods down into the ground so that there's no displacement of landscaping or really any soil at all. So it's much, much less intrusive and can be a lot easier to get done. So when is deep injection not the best option for you? It could really be up to maybe what an engineer requires on a project. If an engineer specifically cites out a specific process, we may have to follow that. The other time it may not be right for you is if you have a simple piece of sidewalk that's maybe settled. That may be something to where it's cheaper to just simply get replaced. This is a product that costs a little bit more than maybe mud jacking with a limestone slurry mix. Um, but it is also at the same time a process that truly stabilizes the soil a lot deeper, therefore giving you a longer lasting product. So if you've got one section of sidewalk or a corner of the driveway that may drop, this might be too much of a solution for you, and you may look at just replacing that small section. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you decide if deep injection is right for you or not. If you want to learn more about deep injection, click the link in the description and you'll be able to read our blog on this topic. Be sure to like and subscribe.